Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Jamal. I hope you guys are all doing well. Now, before I get into the subject of this video, I just want to let you guys know that 93% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribers. So if you guys could right now, please do me a huge favor. Head down there, hit the subscribe button, hit the post notification bell, uh, and it really helps me out. So, the subject of today's video. Now, as you guys can tell, beautiful day here in the state of Texas. Um, I actually did take my Corvette to work today. Um, it's not my daily, but since it was such a nice day, I decided to take it today. And uh, as I was driving it today on the highway, I noticed there's a lot of rotational play in the steering wheel. Uh, basically, you can grab the steering wheel and it kind of moves freely a little bit side to side without actually turning any of the wheels. Now, um, this issue has been going on for quite some time now, and I kind of just chalked it up to be one of those, it's an old car thing. Um, but I did actually look it up on Corvette forums today to see if there's anything I could do to maybe kind of remedy the issue. And there actually is a bolt that attaches the steering column to the steering rack um, that can get loose, I found. So today we're going to investigate that problem, and I figured I'd bring you guys along. Um, and so maybe if some of you guys out there that would see five Corvettes have this issue, uh, maybe this could solve it for you as well. So uh, before I get into it, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So here we are inside of the Corvette, and let me kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. The car is completely off right now, the, the ignition's in the off position, and so if you grab the steering wheel here, you can see how much play there is in the steering wheel, just rotational play. And so today we're going to see if we can kind of reduce the amount of play in the steering wheel. The wheels aren't moving on the car, it's just, this is all play in the steering wheel. So, let me come up here and show you guys what bolt I'm talking about. Coming into the engine bay on the driver's side, we can see the steering column there, and then you can see kind of where it attaches to the steering rack itself. If I zoom in there, that bolt there is kind of the joint that slips over the shaft of the steering rack and it is what holds that uh, that holds the steering column tight onto the steering rack itself. So that bolt there is usually the culprit for most people I found on the Corvette forum. Um, it tightens to 25 foot-pounds and it may have just came loose from when my buddy did the cam in the car and so we're gonna try to tighten that today and hopefully that relieves or reduces a lot of the uh, play that we have in our steering wheel. So I'm going to uh, set the camera down and grab some tools and see if we can fix that. Just to kind of demonstrate this for you guys, I got my sister in the car and she's going to kind of move the steering wheel. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. So you can see it, it's got some play there on the shaft. So the bolt that's actually on there is a 13 millimeter. So we got a 13 millimeter here and uh, this is kind of ghetto but we've got three three inch extensions. And then we have our one six inch extension because I'm working with what I got. And then also we've got a three inch torque wrench here set to 25 foot pounds as I previously mentioned. So I'm gonna grab my extension here with the socket. And we're actually gonna come through the belt on the front side here. And we can actually attach to the bolt there and so we've got we've actually got um, room here to torque it down and that extension comes up uh, from the front through where the alternator belt attaches to the power steering pump as you guys can see we've got the extension with the socket attached to the bolt there and we're going to attach our torque wrench and tor uh, torque it 25 foot pounds She wasn't loose at all. All right guys, so it's been about an hour since I last filmed that clip where you saw me torquing the bolt. And it turns out the bolt was actually tied to 25 foot-pounds and I still had that play in the steering uh, wheel. So what I did was the last ditch effort, I actually did undo that bolt. Um, it was in there with red Loctite. So you probably wanna put some red Loctite back on whenever you do reinstall that bolt. But I basically uh, undid the bolt, I cleaned the bolt off. Um, and then once you undo the bolt, you can kind of actually pull the coupler off of 
uh, the shaft that comes out of the steering rack so you can just pull it straight off and so I just kind of cleaned I put some degreaser and I cleaned that shaft that comes out of the steering rack and I cleaned the coupler a bit and then reinstalled that coupler nice and flush it's a uh, it's got two flat sides on it so it really only goes on one way so I installed it nice and flush and then I put that bolt back in after I cleaned it with uh, Loctite and then I uh, re-tightened it to uh, I did 26 foot pounds just to be safe I think 25 foot pounds is the factory spec on it so 26 foot pounds um, and it actually is much better than it was before so let me flip this around and so if I grab the steering wheel it's much tighter than it was before. Obviously there is uh, still, I feel like a, there still is a little bit of play, but the steering is much tighter than it was before. So uh, I feel like it did actually do quite a bit when it comes to uh, reducing the amount of play in the steering wheel. There still will be just a little bit just because the steering rack in this car is, I don't know when it's been replaced and the car has about 153,000 miles on it now. So it might still be the original one. So um, there could also be some play due to that, but uh, it actually is a lot better than it was before. So, um, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you guys did learn something. Hopefully, if you guys have a little bit of play in your steering wheel, you might t uh, check that bolt and see if it's loose and see if you can tighten it up a bit. Um, but it did definitely seem to help my uh, my play just a little bit. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Again, I hope you guys did learn something. Please uh, leave a comment, drop a like, and again, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.